Gandalf was gone, and the thudding hooves of Shadowfax were lost in the night when Merry came back to Aragorn. He had only a light bundle, for he had lost his pack at Path Garlan, and all he had was a few useful things he had picked up among the wreckage of Isengard. Hasufel was already saddled. Legolas and Gimli, with their horse, stood close by. So four of the company still remain, said Aragorn. We will ride on together, but we shall not go alone as I thought. The king is now determined to set out at once. Since the coming of the winged shadow, he desires to return to the hills under cover of night. And then whither? said Legolas. I cannot say yet, Aragorn answered. As for the king, he will go to the muster that he commanded at Edoras four nights from now. And there, I think, he will hear tidings of war, and the riders of Rohan will go down to Minas Tirith. But for myself and any that will go with me, I for one, cried Legolas, and Gimli with him, said the dwarf. Well, for myself, said Aragorn, it is dark before me. I must go down also to Minas Tirith, but I do not yet see the road. An hour long prepared approaches. Don't leave me behind, said Mary. I have not been of much use yet, but I don't want to be laid aside like baggage to be called for when all is over. I don't think the riders will want to be bothered with me now, though, of course, the king did say that I was to sit by him when he came to his house and tell him all about the shire. Yes, said Aragorn, and your road lies with him, I think, Merry. But do not look for mirth at the ending. It will be long, I fear, ere Theoden sits at ease again in Meduseld. Many hopes will wither, in this bitter spring. <laughs>